In this video, let's learn about a famous Scottish mathematician named John Napier, who is best known for his invention of logarithms, which are used to help with mathematical calculations nowadays. John Napier was born into a wealthy family on February 1 in 1550 in Edinburgh, Scotland, and his father was Sir Archibald Napier. He was a very intelligent child and was admitted in the University of St. Andrews when he was 13 in 1563. While at university, he lived in St. Salvator's College and the principal of the university, John Rutherford, took personal care of him. While he was at St. Andrews, he became interested in theology an interest that was to remain with him for the rest of his life. There is no record of John graduating, and it is most likely, as was the custom at the time, that John Napier also traveled abroad and studied at university in France and Italy. Napier returned to his homeland by 1571 and married Elizabeth Sterling in 1573 and the couple had two children together. In his twenties, his father's estates were made over to him and a castle was built at his estates at Gartness in 1574. At the castle of Gartness, Napier explored his interest in the field of religion, politics, agriculture, and mathematics. John Napier was an ardent Protestant and he published a plain discovery of the whole revelation of St. John in 1594 and was based partly on concerns that Philip of Spain might invade the Scotland. This work of John Napier occupies a prominent place in Scottish ecclesiastical history. Napier also invented different kinds of weapons in case there was a war with Catholic Spain. The weapons included artillery piece, a type of bottle vehicle driven by men inside and covered with plates of metal which had a tiny opening for emitting ogis smoke and firepower and two kinds of mirrors for setting fire to enemy ships. In mathematics, he made remarkable discoveries that were accurate and were accepted all over the world. It is believed that he began working on his logarithms from 1594. His technique of calculation of log was published in 1614 entitled Merefici Logarithmorum Canonis Descriptio or a description of the wonderful table of logarithm. His book contained 57 pages of explanatory matter and 90 pages of tables of numbers related to natural logarithms. He coined the term from the two ancient Greek terms, logus meaning proportion and arithmus meaning number. Joining them together produced the word logarithm. The technique was found to be very accurate and his work was translated into different languages and was also widely printed. His logarithms helped with trigonometric calculations in astronomy and navigation even up to this day. A copy of Napier's work of 1614 was sent to the professor of Gresham College, Henry Briggs. Briggs made Napier's method even easier by setting log of 1 at 0. Napier agreed with his suggestion, but due to ill health, he left the responsibility of setting up the new logarithm table to Briggs. And the new tables were published in 1624 and were called the Table of Common Logarithms. John Napier presented a mathematical means of simplifying lattice multiplication calculations using numbering rads in his work, Study of Dividing Rads, published in 1617. The rads were made of ivory so that they looked like bones, explaining why they become known as Napier's bone. To multiply numbers, 
the bones were placed side by side and the appropriate products read off. Many mathematical functions like multiplication and division could be now achieved mechanically. This device helped in the development of analog computers and slide rules. After all of his achievements, he passed away from the effects of gout on the 4th of April, 1617.